Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig device and on this one we need to talk about the node side chain. So first I'm going to show you what we have and then we're going to work with it. So I'm going to go and show you. I have some nice path right here. Very, you know, just a background sound pretty much. So then, of course, the whole point of the node sidechain is that we can listen to some incoming MIDI signal and uh, perform some kind of a modulation. That's the whole idea of this. So right here, if I go to the uh, to the organ, uh, notice it. We have some some kind of motion right here. We get one, two, three, one, two, three again. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make everything 100% uh, in terms of velocity. This is something I should have done before. I forgot to change it, so I'm gonna go and do pretty much everything 100%. Alright, so everything is gonna be like the same velocity, and we're gonna talk about this. So at the end of the day, what we are doing, that's why I have an organ right here. That's what we are doing. That's the motion I want to use to move something on the paths. Of course, I don't need the organ, right? This is not what we're gonna do. We use this MIDI as an instruction for, uh, you know, for whatever we want to do right here, to do something right here. So I'm gonna go to the one that says Note Sidechain. So now this Note Sidechain needs to listen for something. It can listen to the incoming MIDI, or you know, if you're using a MIDI or maybe a synth, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But the trick right here is that we are using a sound. So we need to listen for something else. And this case is going to be the organ. If I go to the organ, notice that we are getting the MIDI instruction right here. So I'm going to go and select it. And as soon as we do, this is going to detect that there's some something going on right there. And we are going to get this envelope. And this is the envelope that we are going to be using to modulate something. So now, just, you know, just leaving this by default, if I grab this and go here, and I move this just a little bit, we are going to kind of get the same motion. Right? So pretty simple. Now, of course, you have some in-betweens because you can, this is what it will give you. Since you're not getting an audio signal and you, what you want to do is to generate an envelope, you're going to need to use some ADSR to, to, to control this envelope a little bit more. Now, the attack is going to be how hard the initial is going to be, you know, how long it's going to take to get to the initial peak. And notice that the sound will start here and it will go and slowly go to the highest peak. Since we are doing that and this is super slow, we are not getting anything off the envelope. We just need to do something right here. Maybe that's cool. You can of course go all the way in on this one. And it's a very sharp transient. Then of course, since you're going up, you're gonna need to go down. And this is of course how ADSR works. As you're going up, you need to go down right here. So this is going to be how long it's going to take from going down from the peak to, you know, something. So if I don't know sustain, notice the envelope changes quite a lot, quite a bit. And if I make a longer decay, notice that this is going to be so long that we are almost kind of, kind of, kind of never coming back because we are playing different notes. It's just different ways of creating or mangling this uh, envelope. If I go to a very short decay, it's very short, it's like a pluck. And this is of course is going to be reflected in how this is going to move on the mount with the modulation, because that's the whole point, right? Maybe a little bit of decay, it's nice. All right. Now, of course, since you're going up, you, this is going down, and we can actually see on this right here, on this tiny point. I'm gonna go down the release and we can see it a little bit better. Goes up, and then goes back really quickly. Right? So the sustain is going to decide if you want to stay in between. So if I go up and up and up, this is going up, but it's kind of a sometimes staying right there in between. Now, if you go all the way up and the sustain is going to stay there at the top. And if you provide more release, the release means what happens when you release a key. And this is, you know, we are releasing a key right here. We are not holding keys. But that's what, you know, the mid is doing. Since we are not releasing keys, we are releasing the keys. We can go right here 
and the release is just gonna make this a little bit smoother. So again, just different ways of working with ADSR. Maybe you already know how this works, how ADSR works. This is the same idea. Shorter, a bit more body. All right. Let me just do something like this. I'm going to do a little bit of the uh, peak, maybe not that much. And okay. So then you have the all the way. You know, right now we are going from this point and then we are going up. You know, we're going to positive. And this is what this means. You're going up with this envelope. So if I go down, it's going to go the other way. Right? You're going into uh, negative. And this, of course, We still got the same motion, but it's going to go the other way. Pretty simple. All right, so I'm going to go into positives. So right now, again, remember, we are receiving this instruction from the organ. And the velocity of all the notes are just the same. So when we go right here to this sound, we are getting always the same peak because the velocity, how, uh, you know, how strong we play the keys is always the same. But what happens if I want to introduce a little bit of variation? Maybe when we do right here, this, I want to go and do something else with the velocity. This, well, these ones are not going to be like super high, let's say. Now, if I do something like this, notice that nothing changes right here. All the peaks are the same. And this is because this is going to be listening to the velocity of the incoming MIDI signal. And right now we are doing nothing. So if I go all the way up, now it's going to be listening to that change in velocity. And we see it right here. Those three are going to go down on the envelope. So this will reflect on the movement right here. Super simple. Just, just one of the easiest uh, modules on Bidwick, along with the audio sidechain. Pretty simple. And you get something great because now, with whatever sound, you can go and do something crazy right here and get, you know, a very controlled uh, modulation. That's the whole point. So what happens if we want to uh, use it on a synth? Right? I'm going to go right here, stop it. I'm going to go and stop it and just play this one. So this is going to be just an, a pretty dumb kind of a arpeggio. Pretty simple. I, I'm adding a little bit of delay and a little bit of reverb. Because if not, it's just going to be uh, a little bit annoying. And I want to do the same thing. I want to follow this mon motion, whatever it is that we are doing right here, to do some kind of modulation. So we do the same trick. I'm going to go to the node sidechain. And instead of selecting device input, and notice it's, it's telling me device note input. And it's doing something. This is listening to the incoming MIDI signals from the ARP. Right. So if you can even do this. You can use this to do some kind of modulation. And it's just going to go and do it. Now this is not what I want to do. So I'm going to go and just maybe remove it. What I want to do, I want to listen to the organ. And notice that at the beginning we get nothing. And uh, I'm going to go and stop it. And I'm going to go and do something. And this is a, this is a bug. And I'm gonna maybe just show you the bug if it's letting me. Okay, so it's just not letting me. And this is a bug that I got from before. Maybe if Big Bitwig is listening, I am on the version 4.07. Uh, sometimes this one out at the side chain will not listen in, listen to anything right here at the top. And notice that we just don't get anything. We don't get something. You know, it's just staying right there. It doesn't matter if I do this. It doesn't matter if I, you know, change to a different thing. Sometimes it's going to reset it. Sometimes it just won't. If I do the nose device input, now notice that it's not receiving anything. It's not doing any motion. But as soon as I go and move it, I guess it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. No, it's not working. Okay. 
So this is a this is a bug that uh, some we get with this node sidechain on this version of Bitwig. I'm gonna save the project and I'm just gonna close it and open open Bitwig again, and it's gonna work. So okay, so back right here, I'm gonna go and open the project I made this I made for this called node sidechain. And now I'm not doing anything. I'm just opening opening this, and I'm gonna go right here and select the organ as a device, and I'm gonna go and play it, and now we get it. Yeah, it's a bug. I, I, I got to be a bug, you know. But now we are getting that instruction. So what we can do, we can go and do some some kind of a modulation. I don't know, do whatever. Maybe go crazy and do unison. Maybe go crazy and do a little bit of sub. A little bit of shaping, why not? And maybe a little bit of noise. All right. And I'm gonna go and listen for the. Uh... All right, that's fine. You know, I like it. So if you pair with the other one, it's just a completely different sound because now we have this motion. Now without the, without this, it sounds very different. It's just completely different. It has the same vibe, of course, but we don't get that modulation and that these kind of things just take your track to a different level. You know the modulations and all the cool ideas. All right. So that's it. This this is what the note sidechain is gonna do. Uh, maybe again, if uh, just if, if you're uh, on with Bitwick, you work with Bitwick, and you see this, uh, yeah, just take no, write this down as a as a bug, okay? To the note sidechain. All right. So hopefully you like this, you find this useful, and uh, remember to like and subscribe. And remember everything I release right here on my channel is gonna be previously on Patreon. So make sure to check Patreon and uh, you know, and of course support the channel. All right. So see you on the next one.